Are you ready to unlock your dream cybersecurity career, but you don't know where to start? Well, look no further. This video has you covered. We're going to take a journey through the cyberverse, where I'm going to reveal the top websites and strategies to supercharge your job hunt in the world of cybersecurity. From Fortune 500 companies to innovative startups, I'll guide you to the top websites where cutting edge companies are seeking top notch talent just like you. So grab your mouse, buckle up, and get ready to embark on a journey that will reshape your future. And as always, if you like the video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. So before we dive into the job websites that we can search and look at, I want to share a couple of resources with you. Now, this was created by Zach Hill on our team, and these are fantastic in my opinion. This is a Google worksheet. So if you look at the Google worksheet, you have the ability to look at status and say, hey, I've got scheduled interview, I've just applied, I have an interview complete, et cetera there. You can list the company that you've applied to. You can actually list the job title and link to the actual job posting. Like here is an Indeed link to the job posting for this. And you can actually store the photograph of the job posting in the job description, which is very smart because sometimes these jobs get deleted. Sometimes they're not on the website anymore. So how do you know it was in that job posting? You can actually just store a picture of it and then come back in and right click on this and just say, hey, I want to look at this image and put the image over cells. And then you can actually look at the description here. So like, hey, what are they looking for? What was the responsibilities? What were the requirements? All those sorts of things. So this is actually great. And then you can have your notes in here, which goes to another doc. Before we do that, one thing to point out is the link to this will be in the description below. It will be a non editable version. All you have to do is go to file and make a copy and you will be able to utilize this on your own for your job hunting. So it's a free resource. Please utilize it. It's great to take notes because you never know when somebody's going to come and say, oh, you applied to this job three months ago and you're gonna be like, I don't remember that job. Well, you store it in a worksheet like this and then you can always pull back that information, see what they were looking for and see how to cater yourself to an interview. Now, these notes here, another great resource. So we like to do what is called employer OSINT. You should know the business name, website. Hey, where are they from? What's the job description? And hey, talk about the organization. Write a little bit about it. Write about the important skills. Interview preparation. It's all on here. You should be doing OSINT on the organization that you're going to be interviewing with. So this is great if you want to wait on this until you actually have an interview, because then you can come back and actually do a lot of research on them. One of the big things that we look at when we are interviewing people is we want to know if they know about us as an organization and if they put in the time to actually research us, research our products, all sorts of things. And I'm serious about this. We have had interviews, for example, sales positions that we've hired for in the past. And we we're in the interview and we said, Hey, can you tell us about our company? Can you sell us one of our products? And they said, well, honestly, I, I don't know anything about your company. I don't know about your product. That's a bad look if you're coming into an interview. You should be hyped up about the company. You should know about the company. You should do your research and your due diligence. So make sure you're doing OSINT. And we've got these resources laid out for you. They're free. They're in the description below. Please utilize them. All right, let's move forward. OK, number one resource, and this may be very obvious, is LinkedIn. There's not a better resource out there for looking for jobs in cybersecurity. We're going to get into some weirder resources here in just a little bit, but LinkedIn deserves a shout out and it deserves it early. OK, so you could come in here and search on LinkedIn and you can say, hey, I'm searching for a job in penetration testing. It's giving me examples here. And when you search for a job in penetration testing, you'll find a lot of results if you come up here and just go to jobs. And hey, we've got 10,000 results here. But if we type in like a certification, let's say like CISSP, you're going to get a lot more results than 10,000. Like you get 59,000 results for that. And a CISSP might be something that's part of a pen tester, or you can look up specific pen test certifications or job certifications for what you're looking for. You can also come in here and look for jobs that are recently posted, like, hey, anytime within the last week or last 24 hours, we could do. Uh, we could look at experience level. We can actually search for company if there's a specific company you want to work for. And you can look for different job types, which is nice. Um, one of the filters that I really like is location as well. So you can come in here and say, OK, United States. But you can also actually just say remote. And you can search for just remote jobs. Hey, OK, 
So there have been 832 remote jobs in the last 24 hours in the United States that want a CISSP. And you can come through and look for those and look at the companies and what it is you want to do. So just searching a term might not always be great. Search some of the credentials you have and some of what you want. While we're on job postings, let's talk about job postings. What people are wanting on these job postings are typically a unicorn. So they do have minimum requirements. You should read through this. You should see if you meet the requirements. If you feel like you meet a decent amount of them, look, you're not going to have all the certifications you they want. You're not going to have all the experience that they want. It's a unicorn. It's not going to happen if they find it great for them. But in reality, you're more likely to meet the job description than you think. And you should always apply if you think you're qualified. Don't just like throw your resume in for a senior job if you've never worked in the field before. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that the worst thing that can happen is somebody says no to you. And that's absolutely OK. So if you feel like you might qualify, I would say, hey, just go ahead and throw your resume in for that job. So the other cool thing about LinkedIn is it is great for networking. You should be making connections. You should be coming in here. And this is true for all social media platforms. But like the the more you can come in here and actually talk to people and just like comment on some of this stuff, the better off you will be. So if you come through here and you see something that is interesting or engaging, make an engaging comment on a post, add some value, add some contribution. Don't just say like, congratulations, or that's awesome, or just a one word post, you should actually be contributing to people. And that helps that helps you network and helps you become uh, more known in the industry. There's a ton of people that I see all the time that are commenting on my stuff and that I interact with. And maybe I've never met them, but I feel like I know them. And that's the power of networking. And you should just be a positive contributor to the community. Because the more you contribute, the more people are going to notice the more seeds you're going to plant. And the better off you'll be in your career because people do pay attention and you never know who's watching. All right. So that's my little spiel on networking. You should be putting yourself out there, make connections, get to know people. And I feel that if you get to know, just start with 10 people, get to know 10 people really well. Don't go starting adding out a thousand people at once because those connections aren't going to be valuable. Start engaging and start contributing. And you're going to find a lot of value in that more so than any job website I'm going to show you in this video. All right, let's move on to the next one. OK, same thing. Indeed is a great website. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I can search what I'm looking for. Again, I could search penetration testing, cloud engineer, uh, senior director. Doesn't matter where you're at in your career right now or what certification you have. CISSP is just an example I'm giving. We can come here and just say like A plus or net plus or something like that. OK, where Phoenix, Arizona, let's say wherever you live, you just come search here and see. OK, well, if you type in A plus, that might not work very well, right? You have to figure out the keywords because look, this is pulling up lows for a retail sales job. So maybe because it doesn't understand as well for Indeed, you might need to come in here and say like uh, desktop support, something along those lines. And there's a million different job titles, right, that you might need to pull. Or maybe you pull something like CompTIA as opposed to saying um, a desktop support engineer, and then you get different things in here. You can start narrowing these down and being able to identify what it is, what jobs you want and where you want them, right? So this is just in a location. You can do remote. You can do salary estimates in here. There's a lot of filtering that you can do. So if you are feeling that you should be more specific with your job search, you have the ability to do that. And a lot of these websites are going to be the same, right? Uh, LinkedIn, Indeed, wherever you go, you're probably going to see a lot of the same job postings as jobs post them across different forms, but not always. So you should have a list of different places that you're searching, but don't be afraid to look at the big ones. LinkedIn indeed are the biggest two, but there's some other weird ones as well. So let me show you some of those. OK, so this is ninjajobs.org. And I will put all of these websites, by the way, in the description below. So. Ninja Jobs was one of my favorite go to's way back when I was first getting in because they allowed you to actually search for jobs and search for which jobs were remote, which was very important to me. This was pre pandemic. This was not when a lot of companies were doing remote. So same idea, though, you can come in here and say, OK, I'm looking for a specific job title or a skill. You could say again, CSSP. I just do that because it's a very popular certification. And then you can just say, uh, you know, what country you can say United States or wherever you're from come in here and search. And then they have filters in here. 
Uh, you can look again like, hey, when has it been posted? What are the categories? Who are the jobs? Fantastic resource. Now, the really cool thing about this website that I actually like a lot and was one of my favorite things about it was when you come into these jobs and you apply, every single time that I've had that happen, it went directly to the hiring manager. It didn't go to HR, didn't go through any of those uh, weird loopholes you had to jump through. This went straight to the hiring manager. So I would have a communication or conversation with the hiring manager. They would say, yeah, I'm interested in moving forward. I'm going to submit your information to HR. And it was like a bypass. It was really, really awesome. So this is absolutely something that you should consider using for any job. This is a VP job, but not all the jobs here are VP jobs. You can actually look through this and they're fantastic. So huge shout out to Ninja Jobs. It's very specifically geared towards cybersecurity and it's one of the better sites, I think, out there. Okay, so let's speed run these really quick. Monster.com, great website as well. These are all going to be very similar, and I'm not going to even cover every single one that's out there, but I will drop them in the description below, so make sure you check that out. ZipRecruiter is great. USAjobs.gov is great if you're looking for government jobs in the United States. Obviously, that doesn't apply to our entire audience, but again, there will be websites like this that are specific to your area or your region and can be government related or specific. So you will have to do a little bit of research. Glassdoor is another very important one. So this is great for looking up jobs, yes. But it's also great for looking up companies and actually doing research on some of the organizations. Okay, let's take an example here. So let's say that I was interested in working for a company like INE, uh, who's in our fields, that's why I'm picking them. So let's say that I had applied to i &E, they came out and they said, yeah, we're interested in interviewing you. Well, you can come here and do due diligence on this organization. You can see when they were founded, what they're about. You can also come and look at reviews that they have. So like, hey, what is it like to work here? Okay, what do we think of the CEO? What do we think about uh, the job reviews here? Great place to work, great leaders, okay. You can look at reviews from recent reviews versus old reviews. You can look at your specific job, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can look at the different benefits, like come in here and, and look at the benefits. But also, you can look at current job postings, which is nice. You can come in here and look at salaries, which is really nice. People will tell you how much they made for certain jobs. And then you can know a pay range. Like if I work in sales, okay, I'm expected to make somewhere around $100,000. You can click in this, see who earned what and for what, right? So you can come and look at that as well. You can also look at interviews. Sometimes they have interviews for the job that you're applying for. Like if you're applying for a staff accountant, you can come in here and see what the interview experience was like and what questions they got sometimes. So look, it says, hey, I applied for a job, got a phone interview, tell me about yourself. What do you know about the company? Again, look how important that is. Why are you leaving your last position? Okay, so you have interview questions that come through here. Very, very, very cool. So this is something about doing your due diligence and researching the company and finding out even if it's a place you like to work because maybe the benefits don't work out or maybe the reviews are terrible and you don't want to work for a company like that, right? So it just depends on the organization and what you're doing, but this would be great for doing your research. Okay, so ultimately that's it. When it comes to looking for jobs, there's a million websites out there. My favorite three are LinkedIn, Indeed, and Ninja Jobs. Great website. You saw a bunch of other websites. You also saw Glassdoor, which is very useful when it comes to actually looking up reviews and researching organizations. And we provided the spreadsheets. You should really keep track of the jobs that you apply to because they may come back to you months later and the job posting might be gone, the description, all that. You should be storing this somewhere and having this ready to go. This is the best advice I can give you. Finally, network, network, network. Start putting yourself out there. Create a website about you like a portfolio. Maybe get a blog. Do something to kind of put yourself out there. And it looks really good for employers and makes you very hireable. So hopefully this video is useful for you. If it was, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We're well on our way to a million. I'm excited on the journey and I would love to have you. Over 80% of you that watch do not subscribe. It takes one second to hit subscribe. We would love it if you were here for us. So that's it. Until next time, my name is Heath Adams, aka The Cyber Mentor, and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.